So welcome back, this is the 18th part in this Python tutorial series for beginners and in this one we're going to be talking about Python modules so there's default modules in Python and there's also modules that you can create yourself from scratch so I'm going to show you how to sort of do both and I'll show you an example of how to use both uh, in, in a Python program which we're going to write now so let's jump straight in, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save it and I'm going to call it using modules save it in my python basics folder and what I'm going to do now is use an import statement so that's just the keyword import and then after that is the name of the module that you want to import so for example there's a, a module that comes built into python called math and so it's without the S because I think it's written by an American or something so uh, so this is something that has been written by another developer and it's been thoroughly tested so that uh, you can pretty much trust the code in a lot of these modules of course depending on the source of the module because of course anyone can write a module so one example of how you can use the code that's been written for you using the math function is we can do uh, math dot square root like this and then we could say for example 4 and we can save and run this but nothing happens because of course this is going to return a value remember how we talked about that return keyword so it will be a function that executes and then it's going to hit that return keyword and it will send us back a value but it, now we're not doing anything with this value so all we need to do is say print remember because this is the key uh, this is the built-in function in python that is going to take that returned value and then output it to our python shell so we can see it so let's go ahead and run this and now we get 2 which is the correct square root of 4 so we could also do for example log and we can run that and by default this is going to be the log base e of 4 but if we want to specify a different base, for example we could do base 10 and then we could run that and then that's base 10 so there's lots of stuff you can do with uh, the math module but how, how, are you, how are you going to find out these uh, methods because there's no way that I could sit here and make a video telling you every single method in every single module because there's just too many methods and too many modules and there's more being created than I could ever sort of document on a video so uh, just go to uh, your browser and type in something like python math module and what you're going to see is one of the first links on google is going to be the official python documentation so it's on the python.org website and you can see here that there's just a list of all the methods that you could use with the math function sorry the math module in python so for example we could do the floor function let's say a floor of uh, 3.7 and that gives us 3 which again we'd expect so that's you know a really good way of finding out information just using that documentation getting used to sort of uh, googling things to find out you know ha how you can access all the other modules and methods built into all these different modules that you might not know about unless you actually search for them because there are just so many that you can't possibly hope to sort of know what every single module does but if you just have a play around with some of the more common ones for example I just googled the uh, 20 most you know popular sort of Python libraries and there's a list here for, this is just sort of a random website that I came across and you know it gives you ideas of lots of different Python modules for example uh, pillow is one way you can just play around with images and stuff like that which is really cool it gives you lots of functionality without you having to write the actual code to do that you just get to use it and it's already been written for you which is really good so it makes uh, building your project uh, you know when you get to build much bigger projects uh, that are more complex it becomes much faster to be able to implement those sorts of things so that's a really cool thing so I'm just going to show you with that one example because I think you sort of get the gist of how to use a module uh, that's built into Python now and I want you to sort of experiment with others you know go and play with 
pillow for example and uh, numpy and you know all these sorts of things and and try to find out more on your own but just by using google and things like that just to find the modules and have a play around with them see what you can come up with because you might find some really interesting ones that give you a lot of functionality that you you know never really thought about before unless you sort of had come across that module so that's at least one thing that i sort of realized when i started to explore all the python modules out there was that gives you a lot more functionality than you actually maybe expected so that's really really cool and I am going to show you one more thing which is how to use a module that you've already written so to do that I'm going to use a file that we've already written in this tutorial series because you might not have realized that we've already made a module in this tutorial series but we actually have in fact all pretty much all the files that we've written in the series so far have been or could be classified as modules in Python because it's just a Python script that you then include in another in another Python script effectively. So for this example I'm going to use the functions.py uh, file that we created in parts 13 and 14 of this tutorial series. So I'm going to link to that in the video description if you haven't watched them because it will show you how to create this file. But if you already know functions then this will probably be quite straightforward to you. So I'm going to show you how to use this file because what we can actually do is use this as a module in this Python script. So all we have to do is say import and then the name of this file. So we're going to say functions and that's all we need to do to be able to start using all these functions that we've got available to us in now in this different Python file. So I'm going to just go ahead and let's say do this add function so the way that we run this add function is we're going to say well I want to print the output so I'm going to say print and then we're going to do the name of the file functions dot the name of the function itself so in this case it would be add so I'm going to save and run that and now you can see, so we get the floor function which is 3 and then we get the output of the add function which is 5 which comes from 2 plus 3 which is great because that means that we're now using another file as a module in Python that we've previously written in this video series so that's a really good way of being able to reuse your code and you know one thing that's really really cool about you know using these functions is it's, it makes your code very very reusable so for example we've got this square area function here and this one takes a parameter and let's say we had uh, 10 different squares let's say we had squares uh, with integer side lengths 1 through 10 so we could easily now create the area or output the areas of each of those squares using this function so how can we do that? Well we could do that using a for loop. So I'm going to say for each in range 1, 1 to 11 uh, well for now I'm going to do print each so that we can show you what that outputs. So I'm going to get rid of this for now as well because so, we don't need that at the moment so I'm going to run that. So this just lists the numbers 1 through 10, which is okay. I mean we've covered for loops so this is nothing sort of unusual to us. So how can we now use this module? Well we can do the exact same thing that we did before. We can say print uh, functions, remember the name of the file, dot the function within that file. So the one we want is square area. And remember this one, it does have a default value of 4, so we could just leave it blank and then it would just assume 4 for every single one. So I can show you that. And then, so it would be. Um,
So the area of that square with a side length 4 would be 8, but that's not very good because we wanted all the, all the squares with side lengths 1 through 10. So all we have to do is now pass each, which remember takes a different value on each iteration, so it'll be 1 the first iteration, 2 the second iteration, etc. So we're just going to say each, and then that's output the area of the squares of side lengths 1 through 10. So that's a really, really easy way of showing how to sort of reuse this function multiple times. Because remember, we only had to write this function one time, and now we've used it, what, 30 times in Python already, and that's really, really been very, very efficient use of code, or what's called co code reusability, which is really, really good to be able to write code that is like that, because it makes your Python files a lot shorter, and it just means you have to write less code, and it's a lot more easy to read as a result of that. So they're probably the main advantages to being to being able to do that. And in the next one, I'm going to talk more about how to install modules in Python using pip.